In part 6 of our build guide, we remove the main wiring harness from the donor car. Start by pulling out the firewall padding. Disconnect the door jar sensor located in the frame behind the plastic cover. Use a pry bar to free the front passenger side wiring from the donor. Disconnect the airbag control module by sliding the red lock tab out and the brown slider over. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the console mount. Use the same 10 mm socket to remove the ground near the parking brake. Disconnect the parking brake sensor plug by using a knife or a small screwdriver. Free the wiring harness from the crossover. From the engine bay, use a 10 mm socket to remove the shifter cable. Use a screwdriver to pop out the large main harness grommet. One by one, guide the engine bay plugs through the firewall. Pull the positive battery cable through the firewall. Disconnect the driver's side door jar switch and then pry the front driver's side wiring harness free from the donor. If your donor is a coupe, unplug the backup lights from the trunk lid. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the center brake light nuts. Push in on the two plastic tabs to release the brake light from the trunk lid. Use a knife or a small screwdriver to disconnect the plug. Find the thin metal lock retainer inside the trunk lid and slide it toward the passenger side until it comes free. Lift the lock mechanism and remove it from the trunk lid. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the three bolts holding the trunk latch. Next, press the two tabs down and push the latch through the trunk lid. Now use a knife or a small screwdriver to disconnect the latch plug. Work your way across the trunk lid freeing the wiring harness. If your donor is a coupe, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the side marker lights. Remove the plastic nuts and pull out the carpet from both sides of the trunk. Pull out the driver's side marker light wiring. Use wire cutters to cut the license plate wires. Use a screwdriver to unplug the rear speakers. Pull back on the trunk light to release it and use a small knife or a screwdriver to disconnect the plug. Disconnect the passenger side tail light and cut the antenna wire. Use a 13 mm socket to remove the ground cable and sensor. Use a screwdriver to disconnect the BCM power cable. Work your way across the back of the trunk, cutting the plastic clips to free the harness. Disconnect the driver's side tail light. Cut the rear seat belts to get them out of the way. Use a 13 mm socket to remove the headrest.
Pull on the package tray cover to release it. Unplug the XM radio module. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the two grounds from the package tray. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the OnStar module. Disconnect the wiring harness from the OnStar module. Work your way toward the driver's side freeing the harness as you go. Disconnect the black headliner plug. Disconnect the rear defroster wire. Use a screwdriver to disconnect the driver's side airbag. Remove the access cover and pull the trunk wires into the cabin. Do the same for the passenger side wiring. Cut the wiring harness near the fuel pump junction. Remove the main wiring harness from the donor and store it with your other donor pieces. Use a 15 mm socket to remove the four rear seat support bolts. You'll be reusing these bolts in your Goblin. In the next video, we'll disassemble the steering column and strip the dash.